Hi everybody, my name is Isabella with podcast production company Resonate, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the AI editor Podcastle. Um, yeah, so right away, I am welcomed to Podcastle. I'm on the way to record my first podcast, awesome. Let's click next. So what best describes you? Choose one for now. So you could be several different things. So let's go ahead and choose Podcaster. What will you be using Podcastle for? Audio editing, conducting remote interviews, converting text to speech, audio recording, audio transcribing, and not sure yet. So these look like a lot of different uses for podcasters specifically. Let's go ahead and say audio editing. I want to split, cut, trim, fade, sweeten, and enhance my audio tracks. That sounds good. Okay, so now we get to the plans. There's storyteller and pro. So... After taking a look at these, it looks like these include the same different things except Pro gives you more storage or you can continue with the basic plan. So with Pro, I would say Pro, like the name says, is for more professional podcasters versus storytellers, probably your um, hobbyist podcasters that just kind of do this on the side. I think for the pro plan, it's about a dollar a day, which doesn't sound that bad if you do this as your occupation or if you're a professional podcaster. So let's go ahead and review the pro plan for now. So right away, take into billing plan. Um, you've got some reviews as well as when your next billing date will be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and enter this information, but you cannot look. Okay, so we've gotten the pro plan for now. So let's go ahead and go to start creating. So we can upload a file. So an already recorded file, we can record or text to speech. Oh, and there's a tutorial included. Um, I think let's go ahead and just try and figure this out ourselves because I don't have the patience to sit through a tutorial. Okay, so let me go ahead and start right input configuration. Okay, first clip, second clip, not sure what that means. Um, Oh, okay, so input configuration means, so the ATB is the mic that I have included. So if we had another mic, I think uh, we could do two different tracks and somebody else could record themselves off that other track. So that's pretty cool. So let's, since we're just doing a mono track, let's start recording. Okay, we're recording. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Isabella podcast from Resonate Recordings. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to be Isabella, how I became her, and what is going on in my life. Here on the show today, we have my dog, my Maltese Shih Tzu mix, Beauregard. Beauregard, what do you have to say to the crowd? Awesome. More from that later. We're going to go ahead and hear a few words from our sponsors. Okay, so that's like about 30 seconds of nonsensical recording. Let's go ahead and hear it played back. Okay, we're recording. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Isabella podcast from Resonate Recordings. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to be Isabella, how I became her, and what is going on in my life. Okay, I mean, that sounds like a pretty good quality playback. Um, let's see what music is. Okay, so they have kind of like a search engine for different types of music. I wonder if this is free or like copyright safe. I would assume so. Yeah. So it looks like you could put in some kind of just like background music. That makes it way easier than having to search for royalty free music. Um, let's go to xylophone and mallets. Uh, okay, nothing for xylophone and mallets. Oh wait, yeah, xylophone and mallets. Oh, oh, okay. So it looks like you can select different things at the same time. So that if you wanted, let's say, hip hop, but tis the season, so you're also looking for a holiday, you could look for whatever is considered hip hop and holiday. Okay, so that's fun. Um, when we click down here, we can see, okay, there's an instrumental, intro, bridge, chorus. Okay, so it splits it up for you. So it really just saves you the time of editing. Let's go ahead and try instrumental intro and add to track. Oh, okay, so that went right above my other recording. I don't know if that just kind of overwrote my recording. Um, it looks like it kind of did. I don't know what the lines mean. So let's figure out what the lines mean. Show options. 
volume, speed, duration, audio assistant, transcribe. Okay, so this is a little confusing. Okay, so we can fade it out and fade it in, it looks like. What I think we can do, okay, so I deleted that. My track has remained intact. Let's go ahead to new track and make sure this one is selected. And let's try that again. Add to track. Yep, there it is. Let's see what it sounds like overlaid. Okay, so now we know that it is overlaid under my original thing. Um, it's kind of weird that the audio doesn't start until here. So let's try and trim this. Yep, just click and drag. I'll put this back here. And in fact, so we saw that this can fade out. Let's go ahead and do that. And we also want to make sure that I can be heard pretty well because who wouldn't want to hear this voice? And we can lower this one to 28%. That looks pretty self-explanatory. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, we're recording. Hey. Okay, let's go ahead and lower that a frick ton more. Okay, we're recording. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Isabella podcast from Resonate Recordings. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to be Isabella Okay, so it looks like you can kind of pretty much figure out how to um, put some background music in your podcast, give yourself that depth. I'm sure, you know, this one ends here, but I could choose different ones that last a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and try that. So if I just chose a lemon drop entirely, oh, and I guess it loads from wherever the player um, line thing, I don't know the technical term is called. But yeah, so let's go ahead and do what we did earlier, except we have the full song here. Um, it would be great if we could cut it off at this 30 seconds. Let's see. Right click. Boom. Split. Okay. So, oh, and I can choose. So this looks like a pretty side. The circles to fade in. Yeah. Gotcha. Figure that out. Okay. So actually, okay, cool. So I can still drag it. So let's do that. Fade out here and fade in here. And the music is at 7%. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, we're recording. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Isabella podcast from Resonate Recordings. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to be Isabella. Okay, that sounds pretty good, especially for an intro. I would never say that if I had an actual podcast, except maybe the Beauregard part. He's great. Okay, so it says here, click here to export your project. Got it. Um, I kind of want to explore and see some of the other stuff. So drag and drop here, choose a file. This looks like, yep, it opens your different uh, things in your finder. Okay, so there's SFX. We've got other sound effects. So we've got explosion. Okay, that's pretty loud. And someone says something funny. <laughs> that's cute. That's pretty cute. Okay, so that's SFX. That's music. Um, oh, and there's like a whole bunch of different types of music that's cool my files okay is this okay we're recording hey everybody and welcome okay so automatically as soon as you record something it is saved to my files and you can even search throughout them and upload your own audio okay project status is saved i don't have to command s anything that's awesome project one duplicate rename okay we're just going to call this test yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good. Share, let's see what this means. Recipients can open a link without signing up for a podcast account. Okay, so it looks like if I sent this to somebody, they could go ahead and check out what it is that I'm working on. Um, I don't know if that means that they could edit it themselves. I wouldn't think so because they don't have a podcast account, but I can also share this on social media. Oh, and I could embed it. That's cool. I can embed it on um, my website, my blog, anything like that because it includes an embed code. So we can also go ahead to export. So our export options, it looks like we can go ahead with MP3 quality. Okay, this looks good. I don't know the specifics of what's amazing quality and what's not, but let's just say 128 kbps. Transcript options, convert your audio to text. Let me turn this on. Oh yeah, let's, let's try that out. Format docx or PDF, number of speakers, one. That's nice, so it can, track who it is include episode summary i guess i'll just turn that on we'll see what happens license code for youtube 
lemon drop. Be sure to include the below license code in your YouTube description. Okay, so it looks like you have the license to use this and that's what this is right here. So as long as you include this, then there aren't any copyright issues. Let's go ahead and export this file. All right, preparing your files for downloading. Audio, it's prepared to download and I can just download that there. And here it is. Text and summary is waiting, so I guess it's just transcribing. Um, we'll see how long that takes. It's currently 11.52 a.m., 100%, okay. And it's done, yep, wow. And download, and boom. So let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so it looks like this is what opens for test. Summary, today's episode is about, oh, that's so cool. Today's episode is about my experience being Isabella, what's going on in my life, and my dog Beauregard. So it transcribed this, I didn't have to enter this anywhere, and then we get to the transcription, you, okay? We're recording, hey, so you must be me. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Isabella podcast from Resume Recordings. Okay, so that's wrong, but I can go ahead and go in. Still pretty good, Resume Recordings. So it looks like this is 90% accurate. And yeah, notifications. Let's see what notifications I have. Um, yeah, it looks like they also offer um, different articles, how best to use Podcastle, different things that are happening, updates. Um, that sounds awesome. Oh, and you can even react to them here. Let them know what you think. Feature requests. Okay, so they even give you an option if you're thinking, hey, this would be even better if I could use this, suggest a feature, your idea, details. So it sounds like, you know, they're pretty good at listening to their user base, that's awesome. You can also search, because maybe there is a feature that you're looking for, um, what's in progress, what isn't, that's cool. And yeah, I would say for a beginner, this is incredibly beginner friendly. Um, I don't work with podcast software personally pretty much at all, we have audio engineers for that. I would say that this includes a lot of the tools that um, podcasters are typically asking for or have to use different um, different services like Descript or a whole other software and just kind of combine it all into one episode. This looks like it all keeps it in one place, which is definitely useful um, in terms of saving storage and saving time. So overall, I would definitely recommend Podcastle, whether you're a beginning podcaster or a seasoned veteran looking to just kind of expedite your process. It seems easy enough to use and the quality is actually really good. If you like this video, go ahead and leave us a like. If you wanna see more videos like this one or want us to know how we could do better, go ahead and leave a comment down below and stay tuned for more easier ways to podcast.